Okay, good morning, uh, grade 9 students, and welcome to our uh, week 4 lesson for today. So, uh, for this uh, lesson, we are going to talk about uh, introduction to drama, or more specifically, the, the technical uh, vocabulary used for drama and theater. Now, we are not going to talk about all the uh, the technical vocabulary, but we're going to talk about the basic uh, vocabulary na dapat na yung uh, may for our lesson today. Okay? So, let us start. Okay, so, first of all, magunta na di unsa di difference? What's the difference between drama and theater? Okay? Okay, unsa ba din play? So, let's define these three terms. But let's go first to differentiating the drama and the theater. So, what are these two? Okay? Now, a drama is the printed text of a play. Okay, remember that one. Drama is the printed text of the play. Or, in other words, script. Okay? While the theater is the actual production of the play text. That means, a drama, it's the actual production of the drama on stage. So, when we say theater, gani, uh, kids, when we say theater, it's all, it's presented already. Okay? Presented na siya. Dili siya ka ng, uh, uh, it's not the script because this, if we talk about the script, uh, the script is what we call the drama. Okay? Now, Sir Kevin, what is the play? Okay, we mentioned play in the drama and play in the theater. So, what's what's play? What's a play? Okay? Now, a play is a form of literature that presents a story through dialogues between characters okay form of uh as you can see from all other forms of literature like poetry like short stories uh there is a narration or it's just made up of lines in uh sa poem di ba? Uh, poems are just made up poems are just made up of lines and then stories are na yung mga narration but sa play but sa play it's just the dialogue of characters ang ang pag story what's that Pagstinuryaanay, the conversation, the dialogue between characters. And it is good to take note that the play is written by a playwright, okay? Playwright. And is intended to be performed on stage. So if if a playwright writes a play, oh, <laughs> na nalibog ni naon. If a playwright writes a play, then the play is intended good for stage, okay? So, dili yun na siya pwede nga, uh, Isuwat lang siya din, basahon lang nato. No, that one is intended good for stage, okay? And you will see, uh, with the elements of uh, with the elements of drama, okay? You will know, uh, you will know why intended siya para sa stage, okay? Now, it is good to take note that a play is divided into acts, okay? Just like in kanang uh, poetry, di ba? Poetry is divided into what? Stanzas, di ba? And then novels are divided into chapters. A play is divided into act. Now, unsa di ay ang act? An act is a set. Is set according to the length of the play's plot. So it will depend on the uh, plot sa play. Okay. So I think uh, we have already discussed about the plot sa atong previous lesson. If you remember the elements of the short story, we talked about uh, the elements of Kwan. The, alam, uh, the the plot so ang katong uh, ito, introduction rising action conflict climax falling action and resolution depende kung unsa katas a ang plot sa play that will be the act okay so let's say for example dugay ang ihang kana rising action so nganana pod ang act okay now an act can be composed of one or more scenes Okay? Now, so, we have an act, di ba? And then, each act is composed of one or two, one or more scenes. Okay? So, scenes, mas gamay siya kaysa sa act. Now, unsa din yung scene? A scene is defined by the character, by changing of characters on stage or by a certain moment. Okay? So, mag, kung na, let's say for example, na ay nigawa sa character. So, that's an, that's one scene. Let, and then, let's say, for example, ang katong duha ka characters, those two characters exited, and then they were replaced by another two characters who were on stage, then that means a scene is changing. So that, let's say, for example, that was scene one, the one that I told you, and then the second one was, of course, scene two. 
Okay? So a scene is defined by the changing of characters on stage or by a certain moment. Okay? Now, there are also two kinds of uh, plays. We have the one-act play and we have the full-length play. Let's uh, differentiate them. Okay? One-act play is composed of only one act. So, usara good ka act. Okay? So, but pwede, pwede different scenes. Okay? Pwede different scenes. Only one act and has all the elements of a complete story. Well, the full-length play, play is composed of three or more acts. Okay? So, mas taas taas yun ang atong full-length play. So, one act play, just a short story will do. Okay? But the full-length play, it has to have, uh, it has to have here, is if makita ninyo, we have three or more acts. Okay? Now, let's go to the elements of drama. Unsa din ng mga elements of drama? First, Let's list the elements. We have the cast or sa short story pa characters. Diba? And we have the acts and scenes. And then the dialogue and acting. Stage directions. Plot, theme, o mga technical elements sa drama. So let's move forward with our elements of drama. First, we have the cast. Okay? A drama script usually begins with a cast of characters. Okay? So let's say for example, we are in a we are, we are in a theater, okay? Well, we are in a kanang, uh, let's say for example, kanang AVR or auditorium. And then, uh, if mutanaw gan itag play, if we're going to watch a play, they will give us a piece of paper telling us the cast of characters, okay? So, here in the cast of characters, kaninga listahan, this list, all the characters on the play and shows how the characters are related to each other or may include a brief description. Let's say, for example, si Patrimonio. Patrimonio, the son of... Oh. And then, the... Uh, uh, the girl... Uh, the boyfriend of Anana. So, it will describe, okay? It will have a brief description after their name. Or, it may also tell them na, okay, kaninga character... Kaninga character, this character is a protagonist. Okay? You know what protagonist is, di ba? The protagonist is the what? It is the bida. Very good. How about the antagonist? The antagonist is the una ay bida na apoy. Very good. We have a contra bida and the rest of them, they are what we call secondary characters. Okay? So, you can also put that one in the one, in the cast of characters. But usually, when we watch a, when we watch a, kanang, a theater play, okay, when we, when we watch a theater play, there is always a cast of characters, okay? So, yun ani ang, yun ani ang, kani, yun ani ang, uh, example sa cast of characters. There. Okay, so we have, uh, the name of the character and a short description of the character. Okay? So, that's the cast of characters. Let's move on to our next, uh, element of drama, which is the dialogue, okay? Now, the dialogue is the lines that characters say to each other, to themselves and to the audience. Now, this dialogue is a general term for kaning malang mga lines. Okay? So, all the lines that characters say to each other, to themselves, and to the audience. So, tuludi ay ang kasturyaan sa characters. They can talk to themselves. Uh, they, they can talk to themselves. They can talk to each other, their fellow characters. And also, uh, a character can also speak to the audience. Okay? Now, the manner by which a dialogue is delivered shows the personality of the character. You cannot read, man, what, a, what the character is. So, you will know uh, what kind of character uh, is being portrayed through uh, through uh, their kanang acting or through their kanang dialogue. Okay? Dialogue pa man ta. So, pinaagi silang pagstorya, makabaluta, makabaluta sa ilang personality. Let's say, for example, Kanamang accent, you know, accent, dialect, di ba? Dialect, di ba? O say, uh, I, was, I was watching ko, and uh, niagi na yun sa TV nga ang probinsya, oh, di na ito, ang probinsya na ay uh, Filipino nga movie din. Kanang, grabe yun bitaw, kanang kabisaya ang bisaya nila. O, oh, kibin, nga naman kayo, ingan, anak, kibin. O, oh, ingan, anak ba? So, a dialect or vocabulary reveals a character social status, okay? So, some movies in uh, in Metro Manila, they tell us that the Bisaya accent is kanakuan, you know, very provincia. So, it will tell them unsa ang social status sa mga Bisaya. Okay? 
Meanwhile, their intonation, pitch, tone, and pause reveal emotions. Okay? Kung unsa ka taas ang tingog, unsa ka kusog ang tingog. O ka ilang mga pause. If, if you're talking about a serious thing, you pause, di ba? So, it reveals emotions. Okay? So, it reveals social status and it also reveals emotions. Na unsay mabuhat sa dialogue. Okay? What does a dialogue do? Okay? It's more than words, children. Just because nga ay words dira nga gibutang na. Okay, maura na. That's the purpose, no? Okay? So, it does three things. First, it develops the character. Okay, we cannot read anything about the character aside from the cast of the cast of characters, di ba? So, we cannot read anything about the character. So, one way we can know anything about the character is through their dialogue. How they speak, un sa ilang ipang storya. That's one purpose of a dialogue. Next, it moves the plot forward. Imagine, imagine lang ko no binga. Imagine, this is why, this is why, this is one of the uh, elements sa drama nga pinaka-importante. Because without the dialogue, unsa man mag, mag, magbarugay ra ang mga characters. Magbarugay ra ang mga characters, mag anak anak sila. Mm. And they're not saying anything, they're just standing there on stage. They're just walking there. They're just getting stuff. They're not speaking. Okay? Though na may mga mime plays, but lahi ang impact if na ay gasturya. Okay? Because it moves the plot forward. Na ay plot, na ay story nga gisunod. And number three, it also gives us the theme of the play. What's the central message of the theme? Don't worry, we will review the theme uh, later on sa ito ang kwan. Uh, later on, we're going to go through that. Okay? Now, there are kinds of dialogue, okay? Uh, uh, dialogue or what they call dramatic speech. Okay, so mo na ni said, dramatic speech. So, uh, from dialogue, from the word dia, die, that's two. So, that's two or more people talking, okay? This is this is what is happening on the stage, ha? Huh? So, if one or two people are talking, they are having a dialogue. But what if akura ang musturya? Akura, uh, it's a long speech by a character in a conversation. Na, na akong kasturya, the, uh, akong kasturya is on stage, but I'm doing all the talking. So that's what we call a monologue, okay? Now, an aside is a character talking about his personal thoughts directly to the audience and unheard by other characters, okay? So I hope the definition is clear. So ang character, iyarangi saysay ang ihang mga thoughts sa audience, Pero ang ihang mga kauban na characters on stage, her fellow kanang characters on stage cannot hear him. So, that's an aside. Next one is a soliloquy. Okay? Soliloquy. Uh, I'm not sure sa uh, pag-pronounce ani. I, had, I figured this out pag college and I forgot, but I think it's soliloquy. Okay? I'll give you a correction later on if sakto ba ang yung uh, pronunciation. Okay? Uh, so, Liloki is a long speech by a character to his or her, himself. Now, balik ta sa, balik ta sa aside. Now, aside is talking to the audience. Okay? Talking about personal thoughts to the audience. Okay? Now, ang soliloquy is a long speech of a character to his or himself. So, in a soliloquy, he, the character is talking. Siya ko galingon. Dili siya buang, ha? But... He's just talking to himself or himself. Okay, maybe he is reflecting on something. Okay. Next one is a chorus. A chorus is a speech delivered by a group serving as a narration and commentary to guide the audience in viewing the action of drama. Kani magdungan dungan bitaw sila og storya. Now that's what we call a chorus. Okay? Now, so I think okay na tanan uh, naklaro na ninyo ang dramatic speech and ang kwan ang uh, uh what they call this Dramatic speech yung dialogues. So, let's go to next one is the stage direction. Okay? The stage direction is the instructions of the playwright that tell how he or she imagined the play to be enacted and shown on stage. Okay? Obviously, obviously, the playwright cannot be there all the time whenever, whenever ipa, ipresent ang iyang play ng game Okay? So, the playwright will always have instructions kung unsay buhaton sa character. And that is what they call a, that is what they call stage directions. It shows how characters move, how they look, how the, sh how the stage should be set up for the play. Okay? So, unsa ang backdrop, what's the background of the set, what's, 
what's the set, uh, unsay gunitan sa characters, what prop ang gunitan sa characters, the emotional, uh, the facial expression and the emotions that should be kanang uh, given, it's all in the stage directions as add to where the character will move. That's included in the stage directions. And that is what that is that is why we have what we call blocking. Okay? Now blocking is the pre-planned positioning of the cast. So maoni siya ang area. Okay, kaning uh, illustration nga na That's the area of a stage. Okay. So uh para di, more it's it looks like or it seems like a map para sa mga actors and actresses. Okay. So when we have when they have that one, makita nila nga Wait, at today I could dapat sa kuan. When I when I do this line, I should go to the down down stage. Or or let's say for example nga, we can now we're going to kuan ha, we're going to uh, magpadaplinta kay na character mo storya. Direta sa stage left or direta sa stage right. Okay? So that's what we call stage directions. And blocking is very important kay makita sa blocking kung uh, let's say for example, here's what happens in most kana role plays sa skwelahan. Okay? Kung mag roleplay ganin sa skwilahan kay ang ubang kabantay mo if ang uh, other characters are being blocked by the non-speaking members if they have the roleplay, di ba? If you can see that, that's what happens most of the time. If there is no blocking. Now, if blocking, ma, uh, they will place, mabutang yun nila in a position ng usaka character nga dili maka balda, dili maka uh, dili maka tago sa usaka character. Okay, so Makita gihapon tanan character with the with a good blocking. So, I hope you will remember that one kay that will go out on the test. So, we have the upstage right, upstage, upstage left, and then stage right, center stage, stage left, downstage right, downstage and downstage left and then kanang kwan dra ga face ang audience. Okay? So, mo na ang ato ang stage directions. Next, let's go to the plot. The plot is the meaningful arrangement of events in a play, and we have already talked this. Uh, ato ang uh, elements of a short story, de ba? Ang ganing exposition, conflict, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. Okay. Now, ang climax si butang nato dera kay. That's where everything starts. Ang kanang complication, de ba? So rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. So if you start uh, if you forgot that, unsa na ang kana sila. So, I hope that you are going to watch the lesson about the short story. So that uh, you will... Ano na? Lesson ba ta ato? Ay, recording. Okay? Ay, sorry. Ano na lang? Ano na lang? Para dili mo maglibog. If you want a recording again of the uh, lesson of the short story, kay murag na klase ta ato, synchronous to na klase. So, if you want... Uh, if you want to have the copy of the recording, just for review... Uh, let me know, okay? See, so let's proceed to the theme, okay? The theme is the central message about human nature or the central truth that uh, about life that the story conveys. Or in other words, the central message, okay? The central message of uh, the play. So it is always stated in one sentence, okay? So when we say, when say theme niya, dapat usag na siya ka sentence, okay? Now, let's go to the technical elements. Now, these are the elements. These are the elements of drama. Nga wala sa poem o sa short story. It's not in the poem. It's not in the short story. This is very unique to the play genre of literature. So, let's take a look at this. First is the scenery or the set. Okay? So, it's composed of stage curtains, platforms, backdrops, flats, and other theat theatrical Equipment that physically establish or represents the setting. So basically, basically a scenery or a set is a set. So for, let's say for example, ang set sa inyong play is balay. So magbutang mong lamisa, mga kananan, magbutang mong sofa, magbutang mong TV. Then ang inyong backdrop kay na mga kurtina, na ay bintana, so on and so forth. So that's what they call a set. Okay? Next is what they call the costume. Okay? Now, a costume includes the clothing and accessories worn by actors on stage to show time period and peculiarities of each character. So, okay. So, ang costume di ay, ang costume di ay, 
it's not just the it's, it's not just the uh unsay gisulob nila what they wear or what they you know what they you know uh accessories nila but also the costume will tell them kanu sa nahitabo ang play so let's say for example kanang if 1950s so uh, dapat ang look pud 1950s pud so if your story is about if if the play is about royalty let's say for example Romeo and Juliet so dapat classic pud ang costume because it will tell you the time period and peculiarities or kanang mga uh, im, uh mga details for each character okay next we have the props now these are the movable objects nga dili dili masulod sa costume ug sa scenery okay so basically kanang mga pusil the guns uh, batuta uh, a box of donuts a uh, uh, baso a cup of water and ulay i kanang ilabay-labay so that's what they call a prop okay next is the light now Particularly sa light gani kay placement ng color. Kay each placement sa light, each color sa light. Let's say for example kung red, kung red ang light if let's say for example if red ang light in a stage, then that means something is happening, something bad is happening, di ba? But if light gani if light colored lang ang ang suga, so that means uh, uh it's a light kana uh, dili kayo serious na itabo, okay? So lights will tell you the mood of uh the play. Okay, the feeling or the mood of the play. Next, we go to the sound. Okay, the sound supports the scenery and intensifies the scene. Okay, so uh, uh, when I was in college, I got to work with our sound director sa ang play. And it was a challenge to find uh, the sounds for the play because each scene, okay, not act, huh? each scene will require uh, uh, another music which is unique. Uh, from the others, okay? And that music has to be in sync or dapat magkaparis, makatakdo siya sa kung sa gipang story sa characters. Dili nga mag music kung nai namatay, dahi yun, oh, sorry, nai namatay din na pa music kung kanang kwan, disco, di ba? So, as the sound gani in a play, it's really important because it tells you uh, the scenery. So, unsa may feels niya, ano ba? Unsa may feels niya, Okay? Next, let's go to make up. Make up. Sir Kevin Apileni, yes, apil ang make up. Includes the painting, enhancing, altering of face, kanang mga zombie zombie, kanang masamad. Oh, so that's that's included in the make up. So this make up transforms them into the characters they portray. Okay. Ah, one more thing, one more thing. Oh, tra. And we talked about uh, stage directions, diba? So this is what this is what the stage directions will look like. Kana bitaw naka bracket. No, we talked about parentheses last time. Wala taka talk about bracket. But kana bitaw this one. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it there. But I think you know what brackets are. So kanang bracket. So mao na siya ang uh, nag signal na that's a stage direction. Okay. So I hope klaro ra ang tanan. Because uh, your performance task for the third quarter, first performance task for the third quarter, or PT number three, will talk about. I will. Uh, I will ask you to create uh, a radio drama, radio play. Okay. Uh, what the details? I'll give it to you uh, on Thursday. Uh, yeah, on Thursday when we are going to meet. Okay. So I'll give you all the details in a Thursday. Okay, so if you have questions, if now in the gun, please make sure that you let me know by messaging me or by joining the Google Meet nga akong i-open. Okay, so thank you.